let's make some pecs or some picture cards on symbol sticks. Here you are on your Google homepage. Go into the browser, type symbol sticks, symbol sticks prime. Let's log in, sign in, teacher admin, sign in with Google. If this doesn't work for you, let us know you need an account. Let's go to Symbol Sticks Prime. There's lots of things that Symbol Sticks Prime can do. We're going to go to this menu up here, Board Wizard. 25 place board is the typical size for pecs. 20 place, 30 place. You can do lots of different sizes if your kids need different sizes. Start with 25 place. Scroll all the way down until it lets you save your board as. Let's do pictures one. You can name it whatever you want. Classroom items therapy items, or a student's name if they have specific icons, I'm sorry, specific items. Symbols and images, right here, images. These are the photos I have saved on my computer and that I've already uploaded. Scroll down, not images, not symbol bank, symbols. Click in here, type music, turn, Here's a picture of musical notes. You can pick any one you want. Drag it, drop it. It's called music, double click it. If you wanna call it something else. A specific song maybe. And click off of it. And do the same thing, symbols and images. By searching for another picture icon or by searching on your computer, add a new file, choose file. I have saved a Google image photo of bongos. Scroll down, save, drag, and drop. Double click, bongos. You can name it, student's name, or a class name. And then you're going to save your board. And when you go back into my boards, you can see pictures one saves here. I have a lot of boards. I've not been very good about organizing them. I need to add a new folder. Here are my class photos. I'm going to create a new folder, create it. Now I can just drag my pictures into my class photos. There it is. Now you can open your class photos. And there's my board. So there's lots of different things you can do with this. Um, have fun, explore, let us know if you have any questions, but hopefully, hopefully this will get you started being able to make some simple picture icons for your students. Thanks.